You already know your student's iPad is managed by their teachers and the school's IT team during the day. But what about when they bring it home? That's where Jamf Parent comes in. Hi, I'm Kirsten, and in this video, I'll show you how to use the Jamf Parent app to support your student's device use outside of school hours. At Jamf, we strive to help organizations like your child's school succeed with Apple devices. We also know that when your child brings a new device home, it can be a bit scary to think of all the possibilities that device affords them. So we make it easy for you, the parent, to decide how that device can be used outside of school. Let's dive in and take a look at the Jamf Parent app to see how it all works. First, we need to download and set up the Jamf Parent app. Jamf Parent is available in both the App Store for iOS and iPadOS, as well as the Google Play Store for Android. Go ahead and download it now on the device you want to use to manage your child's Apple device. You can pause here and come back once the download finishes. Ready? When you open the Jamf Parent app for the first time, you'll be walked through a quick setup assistant that will explain the privacy policy and make sure your device has the correct settings for the app to function properly. On each page, we explain why that particular feature needs to be enabled so you know exactly what's happening on your device. Now that you've configured the appropriate permissions, it's time to add your child's device to your Jamf Parent app. Tap Get Started to begin. On your child's device, open the app titled Jamf Student. In the bottom left corner of the Jamf Student app, tap your student's name. Here, you will find an authorized parent option. Tap that and a QR code will appear. On your device with Jamf Parent installed, tap Scan QR Code. You'll need to allow access to your device's camera so Jamf Parent can scan the QR code. Position your device so the camera can scan the QR code on your child's device, and a box will appear to confirm that you want to manage this device. Tap Confirm to continue, and the device will be added to the home page of your Jamf Parent app. If you have more than one child with a school-issued device, you can add additional devices from the home page of Jamf Parent by tapping Add Child. Now that your child's device is added to your Jamf Parent app, it's time to start learning what you can do with it. Start by tapping on the tile for your child's device. From here, we have four tabs at the top of the screen. Allowed apps, websites, device rules, and device information. Allowed apps lets you enable restrictions on your child's device on demand. For example, if you don't want your child using social media right now, you can flip this toggle to off, and any apps categorized as social media will immediately be restricted. Keep in mind that some apps your child uses for homework might fall under one of these categories, but don't worry. If an important homework app disappears when you restrict one of these categories, you can change your approach to ensure they have the apps they need, and none of the apps you don't want them to have. More on this next. Fortunately, Jamf Parent gives us plenty of tools. Another option to limit app usage is called AppLock, which allows you to specify one or more apps to lock the device into for a chosen period of time. In the Allowed Apps tab, enable AppLock. If, for example, your child has reading homework they need to complete, you can choose whichever app your child uses for their reading, set a time limit for the restriction, then tap Done. Your child's device is now locked into the chosen reading app until the time limit is up. What if they need to take notes, too? Tap Change Allowed Apps to add whichever app they use to take notes, and tap Done again. The timer will reset on your device, and your child will now have access to their reading and notes apps until the time limit is up. If they finish their homework early, just tap Disable App Lock on your device, and the restrictions will be lifted. In addition to restricting apps, you can also use Jamf Parent to restrict certain device functionality. Keep in mind, you do not have to do this in addition to configuring allowed apps. If you set up allowed apps or enable app lock, these features will already be restricted. However, you can choose to restrict device functionality instead if you're looking to only disable certain features. By tapping Restrict Device Functionality, you can choose to disable features like the camera, Safari, Messages, FaceTime, and Game Center. As before, tap Done to confirm your choices. To change your choices, just tap Restrict Device Functionality again to reopen the menu. 
Finally, if you use an Apple Watch, you can adjust the allowed app categories and restrict device functionality on your child's device directly from your watch. Next, we will look at websites. This functionality gives you the ability to customize which websites are allowed or blocked on your child's iPad. To do this, tap Websites. Here, you can turn on website filtering by toggling it on and off. You are able to configure which website URLs are allowed or blocked under their respective filtering method on this page. By setting allowed websites, your child will only be able to access those selected websites. By setting blocked websites, your child's device will be able to access all websites except those blocked. Remember that if you want to allow certain websites, you should also enable the web browser Safari under the Allowed Apps section. If you don't allow access to Safari, your child will not be able to access any websites. Next up, let's take a look at device rules. It's great to be able to set restrictions on demand, but what if you don't want to manually enable app lock or allowed app categories every day? That's where device rules come in. Device rules allow you to configure restrictions to apply automatically during a specified window of time or based on location. Let's see how this works. To create a new device rule, tap Create Device Rules. Choose day and time to create a device rule that automatically applies at certain times. From here, you can select any of these categories from before or choose a custom set of apps. Tap Custom and then tap Next. To choose the apps you'd like to allow, tap them from this list. Using our earlier example, go ahead and select the Notes app and the Books app then tap Next. All that's left is to choose a window of time for the device rule to apply. You can select specific days of the week for this rule to be active, as well as the time for this rule to start and end each day. Alternatively, if you want this rule to apply at all times outside of school hours, you can select Always. Because your Jamf parent controls only apply when the device isn't at school, your child will never be prevented from doing their schoolwork during class time. Go ahead and configure your preferred time and days, then tap Next. One last step. Give your device rule a clear name to indicate what the rule will do. Once you've named the device rule and confirmed your choices, tap Save. Now that you've created the device rule, Jamf Parent will enforce it automatically during your chosen time window. If you need to set up additional rules, just repeat the process. Finally, the Device tab shows additional information about your child's device. And that's it for our journey through the Jamf Parent app. Hopefully by now you're feeling a bit less worried about your child's new device and a bit more excited by the possibilities you and your child have with Jamf Parent. If there were any features you saw in this video that you didn't have access to on your device, reach out to your child's school for help. Additionally, the steps we went over in this video can also be found in the Jamf Parent Guide by tapping on the gear icon in the top right of the app and selecting Support Documents. We at Jamf are proud to be working with your school to provide a more engaging and interactive learning experience for students. And we're excited to help you be a part of that experience as well. Thanks for watching, and welcome to the Jamf family.